Hello everyone! I'm Deegan Barry, and let's play a game that's highly rated on Game Jolt, and the link will be in the description below if you'd like to play it. That game is made by Peltast, which was like a Greek type of spearman or something. Why am I dead? Rebirth! That was interesting. Flashed, uh, flashed my corpse up for a second and a second time. Okay. Or, well, I presume to be my corpse, because it's, why am I dead? Why am I dead? Am I dead? I, I, I'm dead, aren't I? Let's find out. Am I dead? I'm a ghost. Lifeless body of a young man is lying on the ground. Oh good, it's just a young man. It's, it might not be me. Maybe I'm not dead. There appears to be a bullet wound in his back. And his clothes are covered in blood. Okay, well, this guy got shot. Could not be me. It's it's probably me. But why I wouldn't describe? Why was he describing himself as a young man? I wouldn't describe myself as a young man. I'd say that's me. That's Tegan. I've got a freaking bullet hole in my back. The bed is in disarray and covered in blood. Okay, well. So I guess the young man I was shot in bed. But there's no bullet hole in the bed. Hmm. Okay. Well, I was standing, like, in front of... Oh, wait. The mirror shattered. On the table are shards of stained porcelain. It appears a face was broken in a terrible struggle. Okay. Bloodstained porcelain. How would that happen? I got shot. Why don't I remember any of this? If I died... It's very convenient that I don't remember even being... It's, that would be the twist, wouldn't it? That I am... Comp I'm just some ghost that wandered in. And I'm like, I'm a ghost detective. Ghost detective! Solving murders in his spare time. Ghost detective! He couldn't get enough of crime. Ghost detective! He solved murders when he was alive. But then he died. Ghost detective! That's... I'm hoping I'm Ghost Detective. There's nothing out of the ordinary here, just clothes and accessories, but wait! Buried underneath is what appears to be a gun holster. Where is the gun it's meant to carry, then? Oh. So... I got shot with my own gun! Is that what- That makes me look rather incompetent. I used to- this, Or no, maybe I'm not this guy. I'm, just, I'm not that guy. This guy was so dumb that he got shot with his own gun. That's what we're going with. I used to keep a gun in a drawer every day, but then somebody shot it with me. And that maybe is this thing to say, that keeping a gun around isn't a good idea. Okay, uh, the Ghost Detective song is better. So, shards of porcelain, blood. So it's like somebody who got whacked with that and blood. The glass in the mirror has been shattered and is covered in blood. Maybe it has something to do with the struggle. So I got shot. There's no bullet hole. There's no mention of a bullet hole. There's no mention of a bullet hole anywhere, really. Mm. Well, uh, blood, blood, blood. There was fighting. So I guess whoever was the person who killed me has a thing. Space or X? to become that guy. I don't want to become that guy. Well, let's become this guy. Can I become this guy? No, I can't become that guy. Okay. Well, I'm skip. I'm skipping that part of the tutorial, apparently. I'm gonna be this guy. Yeah, how about that? Alright, save game. I've got a Hawaiian shirt. Actually, let's go... Let's go... T Things are going on. Alright, I'm this guy now. Alright. Orville. Hey, what's going on, buddy? I'm Orville. Nothing, buddy. If I need your help with anything, I'll let you know. Okay. What kind of reading attitude and say, Hey, wanna see something? I definitely do not. Oh, but it's under my clothes. Am I a pervert? You wanna see something? He's a... <laughs> this, guy's, this guy is a sexual deviant. You wanna see something? Hey, you wanna see something? Who wants to see something? Okay, and it's storming out. Okay, you can go about your way then. 
Mr. Trenchcoat. Was I murdered by a trench coat guy? <laughs> okay, so who is this? This is the guy they want you to be at the start. I didn't find anything. Didn't think so. Not sure what you were trying to do coming in here. Don't you think we should, uh, should try to find out who did this? No! That's highly suspicious. Oh, that's what cops do. And I'm not a cop. We've already called 911. Let's leave it at that. Well, he's got a good point. Because if you get involved with crime, criminal affairs, the cops tend to be, you know, investigating you, and that would cause a lot of hassle. So I can understand not wanting to be hassled. That's not necessarily evil, but it's not necessarily a nice point of view. It's a very selfish point of view. But with the storm that's on, nobody will make it here for weeks. We're conveniently isolated. So we wait till they make it. He's not going anywhere. He was your boss. That guy was a boss? Was I a boss? No, no. I'm I'm saying I'm ghost detective. So, so that guy was a boss. He was a boss. He died like a boss. Let me tell you, a lot of blood and a good boss fight. It looks like he had a... Looks like there was a boss. It was, it's, it's now an upgrade to a boss fight. <laughs> oh, well, now I'm kind of on the murderer's side because he, he, you know, he beat the boss of the game. It's not exactly a difficult one, but... It's a gruesome, you know, you never beat the boss of a game and feel guilty about it and have it investigated, but maybe you should. That's what I'm saying. Uh, why would someone want to kill the owner of the hotel? Okay. He's like Basil Fawlty. Uh, well, I can think of some reason why. you want to. I don't want to pay my rent or other things, you know. The, the owner of a hotel could piss y you off in some ways. Okay, so potential motive question or asking about his personal feelings. We could get more into sight to get into this character. Um, I don't think this guy we're talking about is suspicious, so I'm going to ask this question to see if he knows something about someone else. If I was suspicious about him, I would ask him about his motivations. Like, don't you care? Don't you have emotions? Or You're a murderer, aren't you? But you're not a murderer, so beats the hell out of me. Which is in exactly why, what the way I derive pleasure from uh, life. I, I, I'm, I was meeting a dominatrix. The boss had a way of pissing people off. Can't imagine anyone pissed off enough to kill him, though. Well, that guy doesn't have a very good imagination. We kind of now that you're done playing detective, I'm gonna booze up. <laughs> booze up. Use the journal to save. I already, fi I already figured that out without your uh, tutorialness. Wow, he really did booze up. So you're the hotel manager? Was. I was the hotel manager, and now I'm just a goddamn bum. Wow, he settled into his new job quickly. Do you know why anyone would want to kill the owner? He was a hard guy to luck. Pissed plenty of people off. Not if anyone would murder. Who'd he piss off? Past tenants, mainly. He wasn't a very friendly person. But I don't think he'd, anyone would want to kill him. For poor manners. Sounds like you two had a history. We sure did. And that's what it is. History. You sound like you're almost happy, he said. Calm down there, Dick Tracy. I know what you're thinking and you're wrong. Sure, I hated the guy's guts. I loved Dick Tracy, by the way. Just, there was an old Dick Tracy cartoon that I thought was hilarious because it was a character named Joe Jitsu who was highly, a highly racist kind of stereotypical character, but very funny. Uh, like, at one point... Joe Jitsu called Dick Tracy. Call it calling Dick Tracy. This is Joe Jitsu. Uh, calling to report abominable snowman saved from delinquency by yo yo. Good work, Joe Jitsu. That, that's an actual line from an actual episode of Dick Tracy. Abominable snowman calling Dick Tracy. I, I I'm reporting from Alaska. Abominable snowman. Saved from delinquency, from Flat Top, from Flat Top, the villain who had had a flat top, by Yo Yo, and of course all Dick Tracy could say, besides this this guy's insane, is uh, good work there, uh, Joe Jitsu, over and out, Dick Tracy. That's an actual episode. You can look that one up. Joe Jitsu saves an abominable snowman from delinquency. I mean. You can't make this stuff up. If anything, it's been the worst 
thing to happen to me in three years, so that's that. I don't owe you any explana explanations. Oh, because he lost his job. Okay. Empty beer really adds to the ambiance. There's a TV sitting in the drawer. It looks like it's decade old, or on the drawer. Not surprising that it's broken and only showing static. It's tempting to straighten these sheets, but that's not the time. Now's not the time for sheet straightening. This journal is same, of course. Hey there, color shirt man. Who are you? My name's Ted. What's yours? Cricket. Nice to meet you, Cricket. He seems nice. He seems about as nice as his smile and his, you know, colorful shirt, which would make him an excellent murderer, the smiling murderer. I'm so happy and colorful. Um, I'm a little afraid of this guy being the murderer, but I suspect everyone. You you remember that from the other... I like murder mysteries. Did you know the hotel room? Didn't know, but I feel terrible about what happened. Well, sorta. Sorta? What, uh, by the way, I know the whereabouts of some people last night. But well, not stuff I'd like to talk about just any, to anyone, you know? I'm asking about suspicious stuff. I didn't say it. Nothing against you, I just don't know anything about you. My name's Cricket, and I'm, uh... Well, I don't know anything about myself for some reason, because... Well, just, that's not the point. Hmm. Is there anything I can do? Sure. I mean, if you are trying to do the right thing, just given the circumstances at all, I really need... I, I need to really trust you. So here's what you have to do. Give me your alibi. Well, actually, at the time, uh, there was a gunshot, and I was in the bathroom, and the w I was in the bathroom, uh, the, the one in the center of the hall, yeah. Can anyone back that up? If not, it's not really an alibi. Actually, there was somebody there. He could vouch for me. And any idea where I can find him? I don't know. I guess I'll start with the bathroom? Okay, I'll need to check your alibi out before we talk any further. Okay. Um. Oh, I see, so... I could become him and then check out the alibi? Is that what we're talking about? Okay. How's it going? Things are good. You look stressed. I don't even know how you can be so calm. A man was killed last night. No one seems to care. And he was stranded away from the police for a storm. Not calm. Just trying to find out. Or just not trying to freak people out. Sure, there are some cynics, cynical types here for sure. Hmm. Okay. So is this the bathroom? Someone in there? Yeah, sorry, it's gonna be a while. It's the poopa. We found the poopa. The mystery poopa. Okay, so maybe that was the wrong kind of question. That came out pretty weird. I asked. I asked because there's a guy who says he was here during the murder, and that he says you can back his story. Oh, the guy with the red hair? Oh yeah, he was here. I saw him while I was pooping. I've been pooping for a long time because I'm the pooper. I was having a bit of a nighttime emergency, and he was using the bathroom at the time. Not sure what he was doing, but he was taking a long time and refusing to get out. Sort of like you, right now. Maybe we ate the same thing. We were in the middle of switching shifts. As it were, when there was a gunshot. Wasn't in any position to check it out at the time. Don't know what about... I don't know what the redhead did. I see. Well, thanks for the info. Yeah. Bye. Alright, so. Now this guy trusts the redheaded guy, thanks to the poopa. Okay, so. What's your alibi? Fair enough. You delivered, so it's my turn. Odd as it is, I was in Orville's room at the time. So we know that these both these people have alibis. He's kind of a weird fellow, but he's also he also has a useful way of being everywhere around when you need him or something like that. Some people here seemed off to me, so I was asking him if he knew anything. So that's where I was. He can vouch for me if needed. You said some people seem off? Oh, come on, you haven't felt it? Can't really put a finger on it, it's not like anything civic happens, just things, are wrong, things here rub me the wrong way, you know? Not exactly, I've been, been, I haven't been rubbed by anyone yet. Could you, who, who's, well I met the pooper, can, can you tell me the rubber? I'd like to be rubbed. 
I'd like to be rubbed the wrong way, if you know what I mean. And, then, and I'd like to be rubbed the right way. Uh, anyways, fine, at this point in my life. <laughs> uh, uh, my knowledge has been incomplete, and some of it can't be proven, so you have to take my word. I was with Orval at the time. The old lady Rose was going up through the old momentum albums in the room. I was sleeping at the time. And you and the guy in the bathroom were covered already. I don't know about Randy. His room isn't in the main hallway, so he could have been doing anything. Never lost all Lucille. So Randy and Lucille. She may have been in her room the whole time. She may have been out. Not sure about Morgan. Randy, Morgan, and Lucille. Awfully sick. Well, I like to be aware of my surroundings. It includes to be aware of being aware of people around me. I see. So he is a stalker. He's a happy, smiley, color-shirted stalker. He likes to be... He likes to hide in plain sight. So... What was your name again? It was, uh... You were Oliver? No. Randy, that's right. So... You're one of the unaccounted for people. Could be a murderer. But I don't suspect the pooper could be a murderer. Okay, so who are you? I'm guessing you didn't know the owner. Ah. Ibis. Or Iblis. Oh, is that the dead guy? Nah, mister. Didn't know him. Mommy spent a lot of time with him. A lot of time with him, but I never saw him. Okay, so she is in fact a little girl. Not. She looks about as tall as me, but... Uh, so she could have just been a grown woman in a childlike dress. I'd oh, anyways. Uh, anything suspicious? Sarah was pretty quiet yesterday. That's kind of weird. Who's Sarah? Sarah's my friend. She's by my bed now. Normally she talks all the time, but I can't get her to be quiet. But yesterday she didn't say nothing. Sarah's a doll. She's not a doll. She's my friend. She knows things about people. I bet she knows about you, too. Is that doll possessed by a ghost, because I believe in ghosts for reasons that are very... very normal. Anyways, what's your name? I'm Cricket. Morgan's your mother? Yep, okay. Alright then! So... Her mother is one of the people that was unaccounted for, was it? Inside are the exact clothes you would expect a elderly woman to wear. Who are you? Who I am is none of your damn business. Who I, that's who I am. Did you know the hotel owner? Not well, but I bet he deserved what he got. Wow. <laughs> She's not very nice. What? Don't look at me. What? Don't look at me like that. I saw how he was at the ladies. Any pretty thing he saw, he just had to have it. Not how a married man should act. At least I think he was married. Uh, you don't see anything suspicious? Playing detective, are we? I'll let you in on a little secret, sweetie pie. If you ain't, I'll give you penny candies. Everything in this hotel suspicious. You should be asking me if I saw anything normal. Like... There was a clown, Rosa, a dinosaur with a clown wig, and an octopus with a mustache, and, and, and he said that the doctor said he was someone's father. Can you believe that? Alright, anyways. So she's completely off her rocker and looking good. Now isn't the time to take a rest. Oh, I'm glad Cricket's looking good, or at least he thinks he's looking good. Oh, hello there! My name's Cricket. Who are you? We know you're Morgan. Morgan is quite the dynamite mother. What can I do for you, Cricket? Okay, so, if the hotel manager truly was a womanizer, then maybe she's involved with the murder somehow. She might not be the murderer, but she could be involved. She could be motive. What can I do for you, Cricket? Answer some questions. Oh, well, that definitely depends on the type of questions you're asking. Regards to the hotel owners, uh, how disappointing. Yeah, she seems like the type that would be... Uh, she seems like the provocative type that would be womanized by a womanizer. The, this, it's adding up. Womanizer and a woman that is very promiscuous. Did you know that we bumped into each other every now and again? 
I can't, but I can't say I really knew the man. Oh, well, you didn't really know him, but you were bumping into each other from time to time. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of relationship I expected. The man who always smells of beer? He, he's been here for much longer. You should ask him. You really didn't know the owner at all? That's what I finished saying. Are you hard of hearing? See anything suspicious? Aside from the sound of a gunshot? No. I laid awake. Uh, I laid awake afterward and comfort comforted my daughter. She didn't have a chance to investigate. So I didn't have a chance to investigate. But to my memory, I cannot remember or seeing or hearing anything else. How's your daughter, by the way? She's doing all right. She's handled this better than I would have expected, given her age. Although sometimes she, the things she says, is as if she doesn't care at all. What if I spoil her too much? Now that was a tough one. She cared for nothing. She, she cared, or she, she was nothing but rich. She could have scared a rhinoceros into submission. The world needs more women like her. I'm not sure I completely agree, but uh, you know, being tough is good, I suppose. Uh, women would be scary if they were all like that, I guess. She doesn't sound like quite the attractive woman you are. Anyways, so Ken, where were you? Outside for fresh air. There's just something about the nighttime air that appeals to me. You're out there alone during the storm? Not actually the storm. Standing by the out, uh, uh, under an outdoor roof, but yes, uh, outdoor roof. But yes, I was alone. Mm, red flag. Wait, now what'd she say? Somebody else would die tonight? That's not creepy at all. That's, 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 that's great, honey. What? Psycho. Precognitive doll. Precognitive. A doll? You are a haunted doll. HAUNTED DOLL! HAUNTED DOLL! What the? I can go into the doll. I suspected something like that. Hello? Who are you? What do you make of things here? I'm not going to talk to a doll. But I know who can! Little girl, let's talk to your doll. I can make you talk. We have ways of making you talk, doll. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Ibish. <laughs> Mommy says we'll have we'll leave the hotel as soon as the storm goes away. Of course, there's nothing in it for er, nothing in it for her to stay here longer. What do you mean, Sarah? Think, Ibish. It'll it it wait Ibis. Il Il Ibil Wait. Iblis. Iblis. I'm I was like Iblis Thank you, Iblis. Why do you think she came out here in the first place? You believe it was for a vacation. But that's what Mama told me. She wouldn't lie to me, right? They're all liars. Big lies, small lies, white lies, dark lies. Special about that guy in the trench coat? Oh, except for him. He's just an idiot. Sounds so serious, sir. I am serious. Lies are moving towards each other. Soon they'll be in collision. Someone else will die. This I know. Hello, miss. Hi, sir. <laughs> Wait. How are you able to talk to me? Stop being silly, sir. I talk all the time, remember? Do you believe in ghosts? Ghosts? Of course there's no such thing as ghosts. He's gonna just ask me if I believe in Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny. What do you think about the owner? It's a dead guy, right? Mommy said he was a bad guy, and I shouldn't talk to him. But she sure spent a lot of time with him. Dun dun dun! How is your mother? Lately, Mommy's been weird. I feel like she's not telling me everything. I can't tell when people are lying. I can tell when people are lying. Mommy's lying to me. Aha! We just used our ghost powers in a very clever way. Now let's be the let's be the woman. Hi, sweetie. Sarah's being real quiet though. It's like she's scared or something. 
Oh, honey, don't be afraid. We're gonna be okay. No, ma'am, I'm not scared. Just Sarah's scared. She's never been scared like this before, either. Okay. Now to apply my womanly ways to uh, the investigation. Drawers filled with black shirts, white khakis, no variation. There's also what appears to be random souvenirs and baubles with foreign languages inscribed on them. So, black shirts, white khakis. Okay, crickets room. That checks out. Bathroom. Hey, Mr. Pooper. Uh, yeah, Lays is on the other side. I know, I just... Alright. I was just hoping that we could get in some information. I'm looking good. <laughs> Maybe I, sh I should stop doing this voice. Alright. Hello, dear. How's it going? Fine. So what brings a girl like you to this hotel? Oh, that's a girl. Uh, well, it was for a vacation. Is that right? Same for me. How's it going? What's wrong? You don't sound fine. No, really. I'm fine. It's just a bit shaken up. Alright, she's a bit shaken up. Inside are some very frugal clothes and a small briefcase, but it's securely locked. What's inside the briefcase? Could you tell me what's inside the briefcase? I feel compelled to show But I don't have any reason to open it. Why not? It's my briefcase. Let's get the other way. This, uh, this conversation the other way around. Did you, did you know the owner well? Uh, before he, what happened to him? I would say I knew the man, but we had some brief encounters. Shame would have to him. Brief encounters, eh? What was it? Or was that it? Did you have anything else? No, nothing else. I don't have to read every single bit of text. She gets by using her looks. That's the kind of woman I expected. And so she doesn't have an income, and so she has a reason to kill, because maybe she's running out of money? Dun dun dun, and she needs some more? Now isn't the time to take a rest. Inside her clothes of every color of the rainbow, and, and more? Some designs are just too painful to look at. But I mean, what about, it's like, they've got like the eighth color in there, like, Octreon. Is Octreon close? Magical? Is he a wizard from the Terry Pratchett world? I'm still sad about Terry Pratchett dying. The drawer is completely empty except for one item. A red thong. Yeah. Tempting to straighten these sheets, but that's not the time for that. Okay, I think we know whose room that is. Oh yeah. A red thong. Yeah. Just a red thong. Hey, lady. Want to see something? Utter contempt. How are things going? Utter contempt. Hey there, miss. Utter contempt. That's funny. That is rather funny. So, what can I learn using this guy? It doesn't seem like this guy would be very useful. What's up, miss? Wanna see something? Don't have time for you. Hey, pooper! What's the ma hey, man, what's up? You are quite strange. I can tell you are a man of little consequence. Wow, the pooper just... He's a very insightful fellow. I couldn't if I wanted to. There's a door in the way. Yet he can see that this is a man of little consequence. The pooper is a very wise man. He's like, I think the pooper is in fact the thinker sitting there. Hmm. I nearly have. If I could have a few more details of this murder, I feel like I could solve it. Someone else is going to die tonight. I know this because I am the man in the colored shirt. And I kill it, people. Alright. So, designs are just too painful to look at. Hey there, honey. How's it going? It's all right. I'm Ted. Nice to meet you. Hi, darling. Nothing, just stopping by. She sounded really friendly, but not friendly in a way that she like knew Ted from before. So, no relationships there. Ted is just like a psychopath. Um, okay, he's a stalker. He, no one knows him, and he's a stalker, and he's overly friendly, and he's got a big goofy smile and lots of colors. I do not like Ted. You seem uneasy. Do I? 
You do. Are you shy? I. You want to get dinner sometime? I. Sure. Date successful. Well, we just got the murderer a date with a very passive lady. Uh, there we go. Hi. What's up? What do you do? I don't mind. I'm a salesman. Like a lot of people here, I'm just on vacation. Normally, I travel around a lot. To a, I travel a lot around a lot in or in a lot more hospitable areas. Yes, yeah, so that'd be very convenient. How so? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. So. Now what do I do? I guess we can investigate with the murder with various people. That's something I haven't tried. Looking good. Okay. Broken in a struggle. Glass has been in the mirror has been shattered, covered in blood. This maybe it has something to do with the dead body from it. Maybe gun and a gun holster but no gun which could be in a briefcase this lady could be hiding the gun but why why would you hi hide a gun it just doesn't add up does it let's say Uh, hello. Holy shit, she speaks! You finally able to hold a conversation, girl? I can't. You do the other? Uh, oh yeah. Of course I did, he was my boss. So, you knew what he did. What he did? Listen, you gotta be a bit more specific than that. If there's something you gotta say, just come out and say it. I, never mind. He did something. The owner did something. Did he mention that he was going out or going to meet someone from outside the hotel recently? Someone from outside the hotel? What? How did you know about What I mean is, mind your own damn business. Don't see what any of the owner or his personal affairs have anything to do with the, with you. I'll take that as a yet. Yeah. Take it out of you want, just leave me alone. Okay, so the owner went out and did something that caused him to get killed. I'm gonna play this a little bit more because this is getting interesting. Maybe she'll know. Hey there. Hi. How's it going? What can I do to help? I did have a really quite important question I was hoping you could answer. What do you need to know? How, why did you dislike the hotel owner so much? It's complicated. Really rather than get into it. Aw, even for me, it's really, really important. Here's all you need to know. He got in the way of me and my daughter. I haven't ever seen her since. You know, your daughter Ibis, Iblis looks a lot, looks like she did when she was younger. She got, he got in the way. So he's the murderer, is that it? Is that why I can't become you? Oh no, I can become you. It's decades old. This guy's a stompy kind of sound. Okay. Name's Randy, hotel manager. Just swinging by to let you know if you need any help, just call on me. Anything comes up, just give me a call, won't be a bother. Alright then, I guess I should go. Well, we, we discovered something pretty big so far. What's in here? It's locked. What's with you? You shy or something? What's your problem? Seriously, what's going on with you? Something happened? You know what? Forget it. She likes the quiet. So what happens if I go investigate the murder as 
the guy believed to be the potential murderer. Will that give me something new? Yep, there's my handiwork. Where's that gun of mine? Yep, I've done it. That's the bastard I killed. Yep. Don't know why there's so much blood, though. Why I'm not wounded in any way. Or maybe I am wounded all over the place under my shirt. You there! Delinquent! You creep me out, bye! You there! You look real smug! You know something I don't? I'm just trying to relax. I'm trying to put people at ease! Maybe not that show up, but people in here are uneasy! Yeah, no, not buying it! You know something! Ah, uh, if you say so. Yep. I know what you know. You know stuff. Wait, can I go outside? No, I can't go outside. Okay, well, someone's dying tonight. The hotel manager got in the way of this guy. And... That's what we know, basically. And, uh, that the, the mother of the child is suspicious. Alright, well, thanks for watching this part of Why Am I Dead? Seriously! Why am I dead? Save game. Thanks for watching, everyone, and good night.